y'all welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is katie and i make stuff vegan okay so boom so y'all i'm back with a uh, part two episode two whatever of things i've been eating lately i love doing these videos and it's just me documenting some of the things that i make off camera over the past couple of weeks you know stuff that i like you know tried something new really really enjoyed i want to share it so just in case you're in a full rut with veganism or whatever you can try one of these things you know what i'm saying i don't have any recipes today but as always if you want me to make something let me know and i'll film it for you or whatever okay so if you want to see what i've been eating for the past couple of weeks keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos and let's get started okay so the first thing is this grilled cheese sandwich with spinach vegan mozzarella and then you dip it in marinara sauce yeah it's so simple it sounds so simple but it is so delicious it feels like a deconstructed meatball sub speaking of meatballs i didn't have anything to put in this one i didn't really miss it sometimes i'll be trying to lay off like the vegan meat there's nothing wrong with vegan meat or faux meats or whatever but like sometimes you know you just want to keep it like simple you know what i'm saying so yeah this was really really good it's like a grilled cheese sandwich you dip it in marinara sauce but low-key if you put them um them garden meatballs in there you can also put the aldi meatballs but sometimes the aldi meatballs be tasting kind of funny i buy them sometimes if i'm at aldi i might pick them up but like yeah but this is like one of my favorite ones you have to try it all right so if you've been watching me for a while you know i said porridge i want to make favorite meal like my favorite favorite meal it's also like my grandma's like favorite breakfast thing she might not have said that but like she eats it like way too often and this particular saturday morning i wanted something hearty but something like really comforting and i was like well i'm gonna make some oatmeal i was like i already knew like i'm gonna make some porridge maybe i'll make porridge and i was like "Ooh, but i actually have some apples in the fridge that i need to get rid of so i stewed them up with a little bit of brown sugar oh what else to put in this a little bit of butter cinnamon lemon like girl like this was so good it was so simple i forgot that i did this i need to do this again it was so good like it was just chef's kiss it was very simple though right it gave me like you know like them quaker oats packets with the apples the dried apples in them it gave me that except like upscale it's like she grown now period okay so this next one i got this idea from snack queen i love the snack queen on tiktok she's just so great like she has such a good personality and you can tell she's like really kind anyway that's not the point i saw her make these crispy tacos and i'm like i want these well no she didn't make them she went to a restaurant and got them and so when i was looking at the video i'm like that looks like they took a flour tortilla and fried them and i was like i can do that i know how to do that and say less say less so that's what I did. I know some of y'all don't like really frying. I don't do frying often. I might, it might look like I do based on my videos, but I swear to you, like, I'm trying to get right, okay? But I will say like, these were very good. I took flour tortillas, I fried them in some oil, and then I just put them regular tacos. Now, sometimes, I think I said this on the last video, sometimes I just like a regular Americanized taco. I'm sorry, like sometimes I just want like ground, you know i use the impossible sometimes it's impossible sometimes i use beyond honestly whichever one's cheaper that day with some taco seasoning some american style taco seasoning lettuce and tomato a little bit of shredded cheese if i'm feeling it and like vegan sour cream and like jarred salsa i know to some people that might be absolutely disgusting but it's like the same thing i said with uh, del taco like sometimes you just want like an american simple taco i'm sorry i'm sorry but these junts was hitting for it. Like, you'd have to try it. You could also low-key put them in the air fryer. It wouldn't be the same taste, of course. Like, it wouldn't have that, like, fried delicious taste. But same idea. You know what I'm saying? Same same play, different plot. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to go. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> okay, boom. Same concept as the oatmeal. One day I just woke up wanting grits. I rarely crave grits, but, like, when I do, I was like, let's get it. I didn't think either for this one, I either did not have just egg or I was tired of just egg. It was one of the two. So I just used like the Beyond Italian sausage or whatever. This is great. Just cheesy grits. If you put sugar in your grits, listen, this is a safe space, but like explain to me like I'm five, right? Why you put sugar in your grits? There is literally so many other things you can put sugar in. Con meal, hominy, cream of wheat. Why are you disgracing grit? Okay, anyway, these are cheesy grits with butter and cheese, salt and pepper, as the Lord ordained, okay? But this topped with some uh, vegan sausage and it was delicious and filling, actually. Okay, so this one, 
I know it looks chaotic, but okay, I know it looks chaotic, but it's so good. Okay, so they broke down chicken and waffles. Broke down because I don't have my waffle maker. I don't know where it is. Well, I think it's in Chicago. There's literally no other place it could be. And I was not gonna do all that. I was having a t craving for chicken and waffles. So I went and I got these Vans waffles because they're gluten-free and vegan, dairy-free, very much, egg-free. Um, and then I topped it, I forgot, I must've did like a fried chicken tofu situation in proximity to the day I wanted chicken and waffles. So I just had it left over, I just put it on top of that with some Louisiana hot sauce. And I had real maple syrup. Listen, I feel the judgment. I do feel the judgment. However, like you have to try it. Like not everything, don't everything gotta be like a production. Like I don't gotta take out the waffle maker, you know what I'm saying? Go down to the field, pick the wheat, harvest the wheat, make the, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to do all that. I went to Target and I got my waffles. And okay, also what's equally as chaotic, so you know them turkey cutlets from Gardein? So the next day when I ran out of my little fried tofu things, I used those. And what about it? And what about it? I would say try it. Chaotic, yes. Delicious, also yes. So, hmm. Okay, so this next one, I want a sausage egg and cheese. I know that's one word. I'm not from New York, but I know that's one word. I want a sausage egg and cheese. And so, and I had went to Trader Joe's, so I got some English muffins. Side note, I also went to Whole Foods to get some English muffins, and they're so much better. Like, oh, that's just my personal preference. Like, they're, they don't taste as English muffin-y, the ones from Whole Foods. But anyway, okay, so I made a sausage and cheese with just egg, a slice of vile-ass mature cheddar, and um, the, the Beyond, yeah, Beyond Sausages. Woo, Chile, it's Friday, y'all. Okay, so I, I did that, and then I had these hash browns that I got from Trader Joe's, but let me tell you who the star of the show is. For whatever reason, I forgot that back in like 2017, 2018, I had some gochujang, gochujang ketchup. And I had bought it from the store in the Chicagoland area called Jewel. And they were getting rid of it because it was on sale, right? So I randomly had that memory and I was like, you know what would slap with the hash browns? The gochujang ketchup. Y'all, this ketchup has had a hold on me for like the past three weeks. Like everything I make, I make this ketchup, like to dip it in, it is so glorious. Wow, like, wow. I can't even, like you have to try it. It's just a tablespoon of ketchup, tablespoon of gochujang. I don't think it's spicy, but you could like play with the ketchup bubbles and like a little dab, a little dab of sesame oil. I don't even know what to tell you, bruh, bruh. I don't even know what to tell you, it's so, freaking delicious. Imagine you dipping your fries in that. Don't say I never did nothing for you because baby, that's the start of this whole video. It is. I, I, girl, I be dipping the sandwich in this cake. I gotta move on. I will be fixated here for like the next five minutes. It is so, you have the, the catch. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so even though it's the middle of fall, I had a random piss for some pasta salad. So I just used the ingredients I had in my fridge. I had some onion, some tomato, maybe a cucumber, I really don't remember. And then I had the Zoog sauce from Trader Joe's. So I put that in there and a little bit of mayo. It was so good. It was like the perfect, maybe some nutritional yeast as well. Very simple, very thrown together. It was like perfect, it was so good. I wanna make this now, let me make that again. Cause baby, it was here for it, like period. Wow, so simple. So delicious. A few videos ago, I made mangu and like I was so blown away with how good it was. So I made it again just for like a weekend breakfast type deal. I left out like the fried cheese because I think I even said in the video I wasn't really a fan of it. And I left out the sausage because I didn't want any. And this time when I made the mangu, I mixed sweet and green because like I said, I can't. I can't get into the green plantain like that. Not yet, I'm not there yet. So I mixed it and it was really good. That's it. And I, and I made way more onions because that's why I messed up. I had, I underestimated how much 
I would love those onions, which is like bizarre considering the fact that I love onion. But yeah, love mangu. This was great, 10 out of 10. Okay, so one morning I had to go to the grocery store because I was making a recipe and I fumbled the bags. I had to go get more ingredients or whatever. And I was like, let me go to the, I was at Fresh Market. Let me go to the sushi counter because I know since it's so early in the morning, they're not gonna have ran out of everything, right? And they didn't. So they had some vegetable rolls and I love doing this. I normally do this at um, regular sushi restaurants, but sushi restaurants in Memphis be getting on my nerves. So I was already at Fresh Market. They had vegetable rolls. I just added some of the Gardein Fishes fillets and then I served it with a little bit of um, spicy mayo and it was great. So it's like, I took this like $7, sushi container and i turned it into this whole thing that's upscaled it at home and i love doing that i should do a video on that i think my friend gave me an idea for that like showing you how i upscale certain things because you ain't gotta be boring baby you gotta you gotta think you gotta use your use your noodle shout out to pb and jada right this is not related i'm sorry okay 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 so i had a bit of extra time well i was avoiding something else so i made extra time to make like a breakfast hash a couple of days ago and it was really good. I had some bagged hash browns, the ones that you get like in the refrigerator section, not the freezer one, right? The refrigerator section. I just sauteed that up, a little bit of just egg, a little bit of uh, sausage, and then I added a little bit of jarred salsa because don't judge me, and a little bit of vegan sour cream. And it was great, period. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you will try any of these things. Let me know if any of these things are your staple already. Let me know if you could put me on to something because I always want to try different things. And also, most importantly, let me know if you want me to film anything because, you know, I'm already happy to film. I'm happy to help out. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. While you're here, check out my other videos. Why? You know why? My no videos. Actually, to be exact, I have 153. 154 counting this one. Ain't that crazy? Who you know? Who you know? Got a, who you know? Got 153. Who you know? Anyway, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.